Hey guys, I'm Smoke Lot and welcome back to Wolfenstein. And we're in the middle of some deep shit. I hate deep shit. This fight's pissing me off, seriously. Like you wouldn't believe, man. Prisoners, get the hell out of here. Got robots and shit attacking me now. Beast of wrath to pay our costs. I've been trying to leave, man. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. This place sucks. My footage might have cut out. No one leaves my cat. Oh. Hate to make compliments, but I might have underestimated the usefulness of your ape like physique, Mr. Bostovich. Doubt you should. Tell me, what is it? Das Yichud is an ancient, mystical society. For millennia, we have operated with utmost secrecy up until right now. What do you do? Do you pray? Do no, you... no, Mamale, we don't pray. We invent things, Mamale. The technology developed by Das Yichud is centuries ahead of anything you've ever seen or imagined. And highly dangerous in the wrong hands. The Nazis found our safety. They stole our secrets. They used them to win the war. Everything they have accomplished, everything was built upon our knowledge. But it wasn't our only safekeeper. We have hundreds of them hidden in the secret places of the world. Hundreds, some small and tentative like the ones the Nazis found. Others, great halls of knowledge stacked high, magnificent inventions, things that to you seem like magic. Now, I can open for you the gates to such a place. Getting there will be a challenge. What will it take? Well, the safekeep is hidden deep below the Atlantic Ocean. We will need a U-boat capable of great depths. That's all. A Stealing U-boat? A goddamn Nazi U-boat? This is what you're proposing? Are you off your head, man? I know how to get a U-boat, but for my plan to work, I need this thing operational. Can you do it? I'm an Amadas Yichud engineer. I can do this in my sleep. Good. We will need some additional features on it, too. I will prepare a specification for you. Blaskovich, help him out, sir, if you'd be so kind. Hmm? Yes, so, as I was saying, oh. I think my footage might have cut out there for a minute. The little recording thingy it went away. Oh, I apologize if I, I if you missed the fight. Welding equipment. Easy. Set. What exactly for doing this organization? I gotta lift some weights first. <laughs> Okay, that served a purpose. Let's go upstairs and take a nap. We'll find the upstairs. There we go. Hey, Max. Sleep. No telling if I'll ever wake up. 
Let me ask you something. He will not understand. Where do you go when you lose consciousness? Why even bother? What? <laughs> surprise, surprise. You have a brain. The brain is a biological computational device running an electrochemical process. Your consciousness is an emergent property of that process. Blank face like that of a baby. In other words, you are your electrochemical process. Fundamentally, you have the experience of a continuous existence. You are you at this point in time, the same you as you were in the past. And you have a sensation of riding along this continuum of being you into the future. Do you follow me? Doesn't look like it. Continuing. On occasion, the brain may be subjected to trauma. Temporarily discontinuing the electrochemical process, such as a boxer being knocked out. As this occurs, the brain is no longer running its electrochemical consciousness generating process. Hence, consciousness is lost. You lose consciousness. Pay attention now. At this point in time, your consciousness, all that is you, your continuum of being you, has ceased to exist in the physical world. Now, moments later, the electrochemical process may start up again, allowing consciousness to emerge out of the information stored in the brain. But I wonder, where are you in the meantime? Oh, so stupid. Must we not assume that at the point when consciousness is lost, the person dies? If a new consciousness appears or not in the same brain is entirely inconsequential to the dead consciousness. The new consciousness is simply a new person. Because it emerges from the same brain, it has access to all the memories and cognitive structures as a dead consciousness, so it thinks it is the same person, but in actuality, it is just an imposter inheriting the body and brain from the previous, now dead inhabitant. Yes, like talking to a child. Uh. What about the soul? Ah, oh, soul. I knew he was stupid. There is no such thing as a soul. We are machines of biology, nothing more, nothing less. Idiot! The soul is simply a pointless concept dreamt up by priests and fairy tale men. You're an anomaly, you. An outlier, useless. A laughing anus is what you are. Basically, when you go to sleep, you die. to make of you, I do not know. Are you here to help me? You seem beyond help. What are you working on? Gathering data. Nazi activity. Behavioral patterns. Ours. Theirs. Doing the math. Developing predictions. Where are they allocating resources? Where will they strike next? And after that, what are the larger trends triggering their actions? Figure out what choices they will make before they make them. You talk as if the future is inevitable, as if all our choices have already been made. <laughs> You think there is such a thing as free will? <laughs> you know so little of the world. You want to be the captain of your fate, do you? This fight, you will lose. You cannot go to war against physics. My actions are my own. I know that much. All phenomena in the physical world follow the simple rule of cause and effect. Your brain is no exception to the rule. Know the causes, you can predict the effects. The same is true for everything. Uh -huh. So what's with the arsenal? Preparing for the end. I know where my road leads, and I intend to take as many Nazis with me as I can muster. You have any experience with firearms? Will you teach me? Of course I will. Tecla's an interesting person. I like her. Well, where my pillows go? They jacked my pillows. I was with Anya and they did whatever. Whatever. Take my pillows. This guy's. You, you took my pillows, you jerk. You knife your ass. My pillow. Fuck you up to my pillows, man. Just like Bernard, that asshole. Fuck you, Bernard. Fuck you, pillow thief. Let's see, there's the stealth choppers. And where is the welder? Are you me for answers, are you? Hey. Love you too. Not as much as Anya. But that would explain a lot, wouldn't it? Shh, it's him. Where is the welding equipment? 
is it? Like a helicopter part. Maybe that's what the welder's being used for. That might mean it's on one of the choppers. Yep, there's Fargus. What do you want, Vasquez? Looking for the welder. You seen it? No, I don't think so. No, wait a minute. No, you're right, you're right. I was meaning to sort out the railing over by the secret fountain entrance. Fucking thing fell out of my hand into the water. I'm a bit busy at the moment, but you want the welder, you go right on ahead and start swimming. The door to the secret fountain entrance is in the main room behind the table. Go over there. Fergus is so grumpy ever since Wyatt got dissected. Uh, poor Wyatt. Dead say cut him up. Right in front of us. And it's okay though, Fergus is still cool. Help Set locate any part he might need, okay? I'm working on it, man. Go to secret fountain entrance. Right. Now we're going swimming again. Make a note up here. A secret. is the purpose of it. Must be missing something incredibly obvious. Dude, the arm is lost. That's my sleeping room. Epic slide. Can't get back out that way. Sleeping room. Let's see. The big yellow door in the main room on the ground floor. Okay. The big yellow door on the ground floor. Sorry, pal. Don't mean to, you know, derail your train of thought, but uh, I need to get through that door. Uh, please. What I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> that bad, huh? Jay would think that when Jay seen what I have, your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Well, maybe it has begun already and I just don't know it. <laughs> world changing. No matter who you are or what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind. Make it through to the other side. And kill all the Nazis? <laughs> and kill all the Nazis. I will drink with you in celebration for near that time come. You're on. I support that endeavor. Oh, great, got my laser out. You know what that means. This shit's about to happen. There's the welder. Got the knife. Swimming. BJ has some serious breath control. I will give him that. Any 
yes, you can sprint, as in swim faster underwater. Uh, as much as I love the night, I'm thinking that something bad is gonna happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to laser. Just to be safe. What does this gain me exactly? Just a charging station? How is that door? Let's see, up the ladder and the door does not work. Okay. Is there a chain, yes. Charge. Isn't that handy? And jump. And up the ladder. Ladder, up the ladder, up the ladder, up the ladder. Up the German people are talking. Yes, we bombed the London Nautica. The time has come for the Nazis to be overthrown. I believe I remember this part. Oh yes, I... I remember this part. Okay... Wish me luck, gents. Opens elsewhere, he says. Screw you and all your shit. There are super soldiers from 1946 being kept down here. Eat a laser, eat a laser. Seriously, look at that. His old ass is still down here. Death's head, you know no bounds! And that's why you always have to carry your trusty laser with you when you go exploring in a place like this. You never know when super soldiers from 14 years ago are gonna jump down and try to squish you. Check reporting charging station. Can't really shoot that. There we go. Well, there. 
Next time you go get it, Fergus. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just my wedding ring. It's gone. I'm always so clumsy. I lost it when we got back. It's not worth much, but it's all I have left of him. My dear Sebastian. I don't know where he would have lost that thing, man. If we're going to steal a Nazi... Okay, I'll go look. It's probably in the cargo bay. Steel wedding ring. Inez, Vilmos. Up the head, up the head, up the head, upstairs. There's Anya, Depo, Setron, Klaus, a letter. Ah, uh, that's when, uh, that's Bobby's wife's letter. And, well, Klaus. I'm just not sure. It's cool, man. You can have your stuff. I'm just looking for a wedding ring now. I find stuff, people. Hey, Max. I'm, I'm cool like that. Maybe you left it on the, the, the top. You know... <coughs> excuse me. You left it up here. With the knives. And the nightmare. Did you leave it in Wolfenstein 1936? Did, didn't you? Well, um, I don't know where your wedding ring is. I'm just gonna give Set his stuff and continue on my way. Hopefully, you'll find it. You know, you know I, have, I have faith in your abilities. Oh, Ishakoch, Shimshon, Ishakoch. That's all I need. Well, actually, would you uh, deliver this note to Anya? She will need the frequency of the transponder to track the thing. Okay. Like I'm the goddamn errand boy. I know, right? Here you go. William. Do you have a moment? Schon wieder mit dieser Unsinn. Mein Gott, was ist nur los mit dieser Leute? trying for years to bring it up to working order. This is the first phase of the plan to gain access to Set's underwater safe keep. Use the tunnel glider to find a way into the weapons depot in the Berlin catacombs. Anya has agreed to track your position over the transponder and provide tactical support. Good luck, Sir Blaskovich. These are deep waters. All right. William, can you hear me? You have to make your way all the way through the sewer tunnel and into the Berlin catacombs. I'll try to guide you through. In the next episode, I'll be going to the Berlin catacombs. Take it easy, guys.